Welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Maisha. This week's question comes from contributor Anonymous. <laughs> and the question is, what are some low impact exercises that you can recommend for someone over the age of 65? Well, that is a great question. And there are a few that I can recommend. But before I do, I'd like to say that I have seen some 65 year olds that exercise with just the amount of vigor as 30 year olds. It all depends on what the, the lifestyle that that person is used to or the level of activity that person is, is used to. So while I do recommend low impact exercises generally, not just for 65 plus, but for most people, that doesn't preclude 65 plus year olds from being able to do more intense and high uh, impact exercises like running or uh, CrossFit, for example, <laughs> or lifting weights. Um, but I do recommend low impact because it does keep the pressure off of the joints and still improves uh, the joint mobility and maintains some bone strength as well. They're, they're still weight bearing exercises, so it still helps for the bones to, to maintain the strength of the bones. So the first low impact exercise that comes to mind with the 65 plus, and this is probably for most people that we think of, is Tai Chi. And the reason I love Tai Chi is that it's, it also, it's kind of a multifunctional exercise, if you will. It builds flexibility and strength, but it also centers and focuses the mind, which is also great for the 65 plus population. Really, it's great for just about anybody. Tai Chi is a what we call a yin form of a martial art where there are ultra uh, slow movements and positions they call forms that are done over a period of 60 to 75 minutes and by using just the body as a resistance tool you do increase balance strength flexibility and that center centering peace of mind feeling so that's probably one of the first things that I would recommend looking into is either a Tai Chi or Qigong or that a, a yin form of a martial arts, something like that. Uh, the second type of low impact exercise is a yoga. Now I recommend a restorative flow type yoga. I myself practice a, a style of yoga called Ashtanga and you would be surprised at how many 60 plus women and men visit that classroom and are quite advanced practitioners. If you're a first time practitioner, I do recommend going to a beginner class. Most teachers know how to show you the modifications of specific yoga asanas or postures so that it fits your level of practice, flexibility, and strength. The third thing is swimming. Swimming is a great no impact, strength building, and cardiovascular exercise. If you have a pool, you can just jump in and swim some laps in the pool, or if you have a local gym or YMCA that holds water aerobics classes, those often can be fun as well. I definitely recommend water aerobics because they not only focus on uh, different aspects of non-weight bearing strength building exercise but they incorporate that that cardiovascular component in a group setting so it actually is more fun i always think classes are more fun <laughs> the other thing that you can do are is, is cycling now you know by cycling or bicycling uh, just because you're 65 plus doesn't mean that you can't get on a bicycle and ride your way in down a trail or even if it's a stationary bike you can ride because it does build the strength and it does build the endurance and again it's no impact and great for people who suffer from arthritis or back pain of any kind uh, similar to swimming which I didn't mention earlier but if you have arthritis uh, or if you tend to be a little bit overweight and that hurts the joints and you can't do low impact walking or any type of machine work like elliptical, then water aerobics is actually the perfect option for you because there's no impact on the joints whatsoever. 
Now, um, I also recommend as a low impact exercise, something a little bit more fun, a little bit more snazzy, is dance classes. And there are a plethora of types of dance classes you could take. You could take a, a, a beginner's Zumba class, which tends to be pretty low impact, moderate intensity. And I would recommend a Zumba class for people who have or who are, are somewhat in shape because some Zumba classes can go a little fast. Uh, but if you like to dance, if you're a dancer um, of any type, then Zumba might be a choice for you. Now there are some other dance studios that may be around your area that have different types of dance like ballroom dancing, you know, the waltz or the tango. These are activities that still build that cardiovascular endurance to some people's surprise, but also are fun and sometimes require a partner. So there's some relate relatedness or intimacy that's there, can be used as a great date for a husband and wife couple and can keep you in shape at the same time and don't require too much flexibility or impact on the joints. Those are some great low impact exercises for people over the age of 65. And I also recommend that if you are serious about improving your strength or flexibility or endurance, that you look into a personal trainer that specializes in uh, training those of advanced age because there are some other types of exercises that I'm not aware of that's outside of my view, that's outside of my expertise that I'm sure personal trainers can have that are fun and that are effective. To learn more about fitness and, and health, you can go to my website, www.create-your-blueprint.com. Sign up for our free newsletter where you'll get health tips, recipes, and you'll get your free guide to eliminating stress and finding peace of mind right now. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you next episode.